Hey everyone, welcome back. Crystal here with Our Spring Farm and Country. So this week we are going to do a very easy recipe that you can follow along with. This technique is called the Clyde Slide. It's named that after the person who created it, Clyde. If you go to his channel, Vibrant Soap, he makes some really amazing soap. He has a really cute uh, soap studio in his home. Um, but this technique itself is good for beginners and for advanced people because you can really play with it a lot. But basically it's a alternate version of an in the pot swirl. So instead of just pouring it in and swirling it around, you're going to layer it on the side. So I'll show you how to do that. So we are going to make a lavender soap today. This is for one of my orders. So follow along as I show you how I put this together and how this Clyde slide works. And well, let's get to it. <laughs> So as usual, I am just getting everything measured out, my oils, my scent, and then I'll get my colors mixed. My hard oils are melting over in the pot. I'll get those in a nice bath spoon and get my lye mixed up. So I'll just play some music for you so you can enjoy this process. And then when we get to the actual mixing of the colors and doing the actual technique, I'll slow it down and explain everything I'm doing. All right, now for the fun part. So I'm just using a piece of wood that I have, but you can use a dish towel or you can even just hold the bowl. Any way you wanna prop it up, I just kinda of get it on its side. And then all you're going to do is simply alternate the colors. So you're going to pour in your first color, let it pool at the bottom a little bit and then pour in the second. And as it pushes it out, you'll see that ring start to form. And then you'll pour in your color again, push that color out so you see that ring and just keep alternating. It is really as simple as that. The only real trick to this is moving fast enough because you don't want your batter to set up. But really, if you've got a loose batter like this one, this one is still a little semi thick um, and it works perfectly. So it's a very forgiving technique. So I highly recommend it, very easy to do. And as the bowl starts to fill up, just simply take out your plank or whatever you got it propped up against so it can kind of flatten out and continue doing that alternation until you've used up all your batter. And now is the pouring. It's really a no-brainer on this one. Just pour it into your mold there, uh, alternate it until everything's out of your bowl. Now as you get to the top, you see the color is a little more muddled, but that's okay because the main part of your bar itself has got that beautiful swirl in it and the top you're going to do a design anyway so you're not going to see the muddled colors there 
So don't even worry about it. Make sure you get all that battery in it. You want to use all of it. I'm sure you've seen other soap videos where people are scraping out every morsel. Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> you want to use up everything that you've made because all the formulas that you did with your lye concentration and your uh, percentage of oils and water content, etc. They all work together during the curing process. So you want to scrape out every little bit of that that you can and get that into your mold and use it all. And then comes the best part, I think. I love designing the top of the bars. I like giving it texture. So of course I beat it down there a little bit to get any air bubbles out, flatten it. And then I use the rest of the batter that I left left over the white and the purple to just form a pretty design on top. Um, this is lavender, so I'm making it very feminine and pretty. And of course, I like when you're actually holding the bar, when you're using the bar, that you get that texture on top, something to grip onto, and it just makes for a beautiful bar. So it is my favorite part to do. So here we are 24 hours later and I'm just cleaning up the sides really quickly. But overall, I think I am very impressed with this design. I love the chunky swirls that this glide slide gives. Again, it's a very uh, versatile technique because you can pour in as thick or as thin as you want. You can make some tiny swirls to some really chunky swirls like this one. I love that it gives you that ability. Also, it's pretty easy to do. Um, I love the top of this. The texture came out really well. And what you're seeing me doing is I, I run my finger around the sides of this just to clean up what the wire cutter here is pulling off. So after 24 hours, the soap has gone through full saponification. It's been fully gelled, which means it's actually pure soap now. So there's no more lye in it. It's not caustic anymore. So it's safe to use with my bare hands like this. So if you're wondering why I'm touching it and all that, that's why. After 24 hours in full gel, you don't have to worry about that any longer. But overall, I'm very happy with this design. And again, in the description, I do have a link to a easy beginner recipe. It has no fragrance and no coloring. It's something that you can start with. It's a step-by-step -step guide. You can download to your phone, computer, or print out if you like. So if you've been thinking about trying cold process, I highly recommend it. So go check that recipe out and try it. And if you do try it, tell me how it turns out. And then of course you can move on to some advanced techniques and really play with your soap and get creative. But as always, I appreciate you all following along and let me share my soaping adventures with you. And I will be bringing you some more interesting ones really soon. So have a great day, everybody.